In this video, you will learn how to balance a nuclear equation by identifying the missing particle. In addition, you will prove the law of conservation of mass by showing that the total number of protons and neutrons before and after the reaction are equal. Here on the screen, you see the balanced nuclear equation, um, unbalanced nuclear equation. Um, a reminder that the number on the top left is represents the mass number, which equals the number of protons and the number of neutrons. The number on the bottom is the atomic number, which represents the number of protons. It also equals the number of electrons, but we don't need to worry about electrons in a nuclear reaction. So the mass number of the reactants must equal the mass number of the products. So in the reaction, the mass number of the reactants is 225, but in the products it's 221. So what is the mass number of the missing particle? We can either think of it as subtraction, 225 minus 221 equals 4, or what number can you add to 221 to get 225? And our answer is 4. The atomic number of the reactants must also equal the atomic number of the products. So the atomic number of the reactants is 89, and in the products it's 87. So what number plus 87 can give us 89? And the answer is 2. So the particle that's missing has a mass number of 4 and an atomic number of 2. That particle is an alpha particle, otherwise known as a helium nucleus. Now that we know the missing particle, we can fill out our chart. So we see that the number of protons in each particle is 89 from the reactant actinium, 87 from the, react the product francium, and then we have two more protons from the alpha particle from helium. The number of neutrons is calculated by subtracting the mass number minus the atomic number. Some students like to think of it as subtracting the bottom number from the top. It equals 136. We do the same thing for francium and for helium. 221 minus 87 gives us 134, and 4 minus 2 gives us 2. Of the total number of protons, we just get from two lines above. 89 for the reactants, since it's the only reactant, but in the products, we must add the two protons together from the total number from francium and the total number from helium. 87 plus 2 gives us 89. The total number of neutrons also comes from two lines above, 136 for the only reactant, actinium, but then we have to add together the total number of neutrons from francium and helium. 134 plus 2 is 136. Then finally, the total number of protons and neutrons is obtained from adding the two rows above. 89 plus 136 is 225. Um, I meant to, to say that if you notice on that last slide, the total number of protons and neutrons is the same in the reactants and the products. On to another example. Once again, we determine the mass number and atomic number of the missing particle by doing subtraction, and we find that since the mass number of the missing particle must be zero and the atomic number or the charge on the product must be negative one, that means the missing particle is a beta particle or an electron, but we call it a beta particle in a nuclear reaction. Once again, we obtain the number of protons in each particle. There are 92 from thorium, there are 93 from neptunium, but there are no protons from a beta particle since a beta particle is an electron. Then we total the number of neutrons um, by subtracting to, uh, the mass number minus the atomic number. 234 minus 92 gives us 142. And from neptunium, 234 minus 93 gives us 141. Notice again, there are no neutrons from the beta particle since, since the beta particle is only an electron. The total number of protons comes from two lines above, 92 and 93. The total of no number of neutrons also comes from two lines above, 142 and 141. In the final row of the table, where we prove the law of conservation of mass, we add the protons and neutrons and prove that they must be equal. 234 equals 234, because 142 plus 92 and 141 plus 93 gives us 234. Please note the number of protons is not the same. The number of neutrons is not the same but the total number of protons and neutrons must be the same. 
So now on your pink worksheet on the back side, you could do two more examples and show to your teacher during office hours before school. Thank you, and I hope this video helps.